Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. We go straight to the point the subject is briefly made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is preceptal versus orbital cellulitis. In this subject, it is important, I would say, imperative to distinguish between preceptal and orbital cellulitis because a misdiagnosis, any mistake, will be fatal for the patient. He may lose his sight or even lose his life. The anatomic criterion to distinguish between the two entities is this orbital septum. This is the border between what is preceptal and what is orbital. The orbital septum is the anatomic barrier between both entities. Here is the barrier. Any inflammation that does not extend beyond this septum is preceptal. Postseptal, on the other hand, is inflammation if inflammation extends beyond the septum. This is postseptal. But if there is some abscess, it will be the superiostal abscess. As we say, periorbital cellulitis is inflammation of the AL anterior to orbital septum, often caused by sinusitis. Here are sinuses, the frontal sinus, the ethmoidal sinus, the maxillary sinus, and the sphenoidal sinus. In preceptal, uh, in preceptal, the tenderness comes most of the time from the ethmoidal sinus, the yellow one. There are some symptoms that comes before the periorbital cellulitis. Upper respiratory tract infection, asthma, nasal polyp, and immunocompromised person. Because it is a case of inflammation, there are cardinal signs of inflammation known as tumor color river and redness of the eye. There is a difficulty to open the eye. However, movement of the eye are not limited. There is many uh, bacteria that can cause uh, preorbital cellulitis. Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pneumoniae, and Haemophilus influenzae. Uh, the management is antibiotic. They are required to treat gram positive bacteria in the Haemophilus. If symptoms persist beyond two or three days, suspect orbital cellulitis and consider an hospital emergency. Orbital cellulitis is imperative because emergency. Orbital cellulitis is the inflammation of the A tissue behind the orbital septum. It can be caused by acute infection that spread into the A from adjacent sinuses or through the blood and sometime after trauma. Retroorbital cellulitis means that the rear of the A is affected. Periorbital cellulite, on the other hand, refers to the cellulite anterior to the septum. Without correct treatment, orbital cellulite may lead to loss of vision or even death. Epidemiology. Children are approximately 16 times more likely to suffer from orbital cellulite. They are more common among males. 
there is a tenderness in the ethmoidal sinus. Symptoms include pain of the eye, virgin of the eye. Most importantly, it's the frozen and immobile eye. If any of these features are present, we assume it's orbital sedatis and require emergency hospitalization. Early diagnosis is urgent. CT scan and MRI are commonly used. Blood culture identify the germ. Complication, vision loss in 11% of case. Cavernous sinus thrombosis of the brain. Children are more vulnerable to the immature immune system. It could be a vision loss or hearing loss. Cavernous sinus thrombitis, meningitis, cerebral abscess, and even death. Keywords preceptal versus orbital. Preceptal, tenderness of sinus. There is some problem include asthma, polyp of the, the, the nose. The immunitary deficit and inflammation. Orbital ciliatis, emergency, tenderness of the sinus, TD scan or MRI, culture for the diagnostic. Most importantly, immobile eye, as there are some complications like meningitis and abscess of the brain. It could be a blindness. We see here the building of the eye. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the button and subscribe? Your comments are always welcome. Thank you.